In this video, I'll go over the Mirage INS position update procedure. It might seem daunting at first, but it's fairly easy to grasp the concept once you understand it all. If you don't know what INS gyro drift errors are and why it occurs, watch the first few minutes of my part 1 Mirage INS guide video. I'll put the link down in the video description if you want to check it out. Now let's move into the mission editor to explain a few things. Let's try to imagine that the Mirage here has to fly through all of these waypoints to get to waypoint number 4, which signifies the location of the enemy troops. Now, if she flies through all these waypoints, the waypoint number 4 will be off, because the time it takes to get to the waypoint number 4 is going to accumulate some errors. And we need to uh, update our nav, our nav position before we engage the targets. But how do we do that? So, let's say that waypoint number 3 is our reference point, or INS position update, and we can put it onto a landmark. For this example, I put it over Hoover Dam. And I'm going to lower the altitude of the waypoint to absolute minimum, so it matches the ground level of the Hoover Dam, which in this case is 300 meters. You can see the altitude of each point of the map in the mission editor by looking into the lower bar here and looking at the altitude. Whenever your cursor is, it will tell you the altitude and lat latitude and longitude coordinates of the target where your cursor is. Or we can just in case type 000 and it will match the minimum ground level for that waypoint. We can update the INS position by two ways. The first one is called the Waypoint Flyby Position Update, and the second one is called Waypoint Radar Ranging Position Update. We will use both in this tutorial to demonstrate how to use them. Here are a few screenshot examples how fast the INS error drift occurs. I have been flying for about 40 minutes now, and as you can see the waypoint has been offset by a huge margin from its intended location due to accumulated INS errors. And in order to fix that, we need to perform an INS update. To perform the first method of an INS update, called waypoint flyby uh, update, we will need to fly over the Hoover Dam, ignoring all our navigational cues, because currently they're obviously wrong. And to do that, we need to press the REC, or INS Update button, right here. And when we do that, this button and Validate button will turn green. And once we fly over the waypoint, or the Hoover Dam, we need to press the Validate button, and it will correct the INS system. So if we unpause the mission now and do that... Press the... INS update button, this will show the distance to our target, to our location. And if we press validate right now, it will actually update the cross here. And as you can see, the waypoint is set back to our original position. In order to perform the INS update using the second method with the help of our radar, we're going to need to use a few things first. Of course, our radar needs to be on and set to one position. And we're going to use the PCA button 5, the OBL button here. Uh, to use this, we need to be in a nav mode, which means that we can't have any weapon selected and our master arm button needs to be off. Then we select the waypoint that we are going through. Uh, for example, our waypoint number 3 is the waypoint on the Hoover Dam, and as you can see, it drifted a lot uh, after 40 minutes of flight. So, we're going to do the following. We're going to turn on our radar. We're going to press the OBL5 key here on the PCA5 button. Then, we're going to use the keybind called INS Update, which is the same keybind that you slew your magic missile to your target in, in a certain modes. Then, after that, a diamond cross will appear on the HUD. And when that appears, you just point it in the general direction of the waypoint. For example, we know that it was on our Hoover Dam, so we're going to point it to our Hoover Dam. We're going to press the button, and after we press the INS Update button, the INS Update key and Validate key will turn green. And once you're satisfied, you just have to press the Validate key again, and it will update the INS system. Let's unpause the mission. Turn on our radar, press OBL on the PCA uh, button 5, point the diamond shape on the Hoover Dam, press the update INS button, and these two lights appear, and then press validate, and our nav position just updated. 
And once that finished, both INS update, uh, REC button, and validate will turn off, and we can go out of this mode. And that's it for the INS position update guide for the Mirage. And as you can see, it's fairly easy and straightforward. But before the video ends, I also wanted to add that for the past few weeks now, my subscriber count has gone up almost twofold. And it's around 520 as of making of this video, which <laughs> may not sound much, but it's cool to me nonetheless. So I just wanted to say thank you guys. And if you have any questions or any ideas what I should cover next, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.